Welcome to the part 12 of the series on volume thread analysis, low volume test, smart money testing for supply. Before we proceed further, let's quickly recap on what are the signs of strength or SOS. They are the selling climax, the stopping volume, the effort to move up bar, the reverse up thrust bar, test for supply, no supply bar, and the two bar reversal. We have already covered in detail the first four signs of strength. Now we will look at in detail the test for supply. First, let's look at where the low volume test or the test for supply appears. We saw that there were two types of recoveries. One is a V type recovery and another is the recovery after consolidation. In a V type recovery, normally you would find the low volume test or the test for supply in the recovery area where immediately where the recovery is happening and it indicates that recovery is going to happen. It is rare to find a test for supply in a consolidation zone, but you can find the test for supply or the low volume test after the stock has moved up and is trending. As we all know, while trending, it often faces supply and to move up the stock again, the smart money will have to test if there is still supply present. Now let's look at in detail the sign of strength, the low volume test or the test for supply it is where the smart money is testing where the supply is present. First look at, let's look at the definitions of the low volume test. It will be an average spread bar gently open on the higher side and closing on the upper side or near the high. The volume will be low. For calculation purpose, normally we take that it should be lower than the previous two bars. But of course, you will find some variations where one has to use his or her such judgment to see if it is really a test. And it dips into the previous area of supply. Now, what is happening here, you can see. The smart money opens the price and then quickly pushes the price down on a low volume. If there was supply present and large number of sellers are there, they will sell into this bar and the volume will become high and the prices will be pushed down and it will never recover, it will close near the lows. But if there is no supply at all, or very little supply, the volume remains low and the smart money can easily push back the price near the high. It is clearly, it's just dipping into the supply area and testing whether there is supply and then bring it back to the high. And so this is how the low volume test or test for supply works. Now interpretation it indicates that no supply exists and demand can move up the price easily. Of course, it is an indication of strength. But if we see high volume, it's a failed test and indicates that supply is still present. It appears in the recovery stage in a V-type reversal. 
and also seen in trending stages where testing is done after supply is encountered before pushing the prices further up. Now, what do we look for when we see a test for supply? As usual, we always look at the next couple of bars for confirmation of strength. If we see widespread up bars, it indicates strength and the stock could move up soon. But if we see down bars or no demand bars, it indicates there is no follow through demand. So we cannot expect the prices to move up soon. So it is a good sign of strength and one can prepare for an upcoming up move to look at the proper entry points and for a good long trade. Now let's look at some examples, real life examples of the test for supply or low volume test. In the first example, I have the chart of Bharat Heavy Electricals or BHEL. This is a daily chart and as usual I will be using the replay mode for better illustration. So I have the chart here uh, starting from the 19th of August 22. As you can see the stock has been moving up. Now it is facing some resistance here and then some supply is coming here and it has been moving sideways here. There was an attempt to move which failed again here. So let's see how the prices play out further. Again it is back into that consolidation area or now it is trying to move up with an effort to move a bar. So move it has been moving up. Let me zoom it a bit for clarity. Stock is moving up. Again some facing some supply or resistance it is coming down now again an effort to push it down the prices are coming down again an effort to move down bar now if you look at this bar you can see this got the typical characteristics of it test here. Now we know the previous area of supply the supply was here that's why it was struggling here you know this place where it was trying to move up but face some supply so you can see this dips into the area of previous supply it opened and then pushed down here below the low of the previous bar and you can see the supply has been lower than the previous two bars. In fact, it is more than that but it, the supply is very low and the stock quickly came up and closed near the high. So this is a typical test for supply. Let's see if strength comes in after the sub, uh, test for supply. Here you can see an effort to move up here. A wider bar with increased volume, more than the average volume, pushing up the price. So there is strength coming in here. So when there was a test for supply and it was evident that there was no supply, the start started moving up again. 
So it again face supply here in, in the previous supply area here and now it is getting pushed down again. And you see here, this is again a test for supply here. You can see there was some little supply coming here. The stock struggled a little here. And this again, you can typical test for supply. It dipped into the supply area and the volume has been very low. And it closed near the high. It's again a test for supply. The next bar, of course, uh, tried to open higher but again supply was little present here but soon these start started moving here as this was a successful low volume test now let me add the our favorite indicator vpa 5.0 So you can see here, it clearly told us it is a low volume test, LVT. Here again, it is a low volume test. So when the test were successful, it showed strength and the stock started moving up again. So this is again a clear example of a low volume test. Here you would find some variations in the test for supply. So you can see it opened low but it closed high here and the volume was very low. So this is a variation for test for supply. So you should be, it is not very evident here, it is not the classical uh, definition of a test for uh, supply as the test for supply is easily noticeable with the long tail but here you don't have the long tail but it's still indeed a test for supply because in conventional VSA you can see that open is never taken into consideration only the close of the price is taken into consideration so here you can see the volume is lower than the previous two bars and it closed near the top and the strength came in here. In both places the strength came in here. So there are variations in the classical definition. You don't see the long tail many times but of course if you remove the open from your consideration the both the bars are looking the same here. So when you are using bars, you should be able to identify the difference. Always look at the close here and the volume. These two should define your test for supply. Now let's move on to the next example. In this example, I have the chart of jumble fertilizers. It's a daily chart and I'm using the replay mode here. As you can see, the chart shows that the stock is in a downtrend already. It has been moving down. Let's see how the prices play further. Let me zoom in a bit for clarity. Again, it is moving down further, a widespread down bar. One more widespread down bar here. A little small recovery, but again, supply coming in, pushing the price down further.
Now, if you observe this bar, let me, this bar is a typical low volume test. As you can see, the price is the lowest of the last four bars. It opened here and pushed the price down here, recovered quickly and closed near the high. And the volume is also quite low. So this is a typical low volume test here. So let's see how the further prices play out, whether the strength will come in now. The next bar you can see in up bar, it opened above the close of the previous bar, but still little supply is there. That's why it closed in the middle. Again an up bar, increasing volumes. You can see that almost a V type recovery here. A V type recovery after a test for successful test for supply here. So you can see the complete V type recovery happened here after a successful low volume test. Now let me add the VPA indicator here. The VPA indicator clearly told us it is a low volume test. So it saves you from guessing whether it's a low volume test and the low volume, successful low volume test brought in a full recovery and we saw a complete V type recovery here. One thing we should uh, notice or understand is that generally the V type recoveries are rare in the market and even in the V type recoveries you would find that the low volume test is also rare. But in a V-type recovery with the low volume test is a sure sign of strength. But these are quite rare. The low volume test normally or more often happens in the in an uptrend uh, where the supply is phased and to overcome the supply and to move up further the smart money need to test for supply. So this is the second example where we saw a uh, successful low volume test in a V type reversal. Before we close this video, let's quickly summarize what we learned in this session. The low volume test or test for supply indicates that the smart money is testing if the supply is present before trying to push up the prices. It can be generally found in uptrends when supply is encountered. It is also found in V-type reversals but are rare. Variations can be found in terms of open of the bar. As in conventional VSA, the open is never considered. And the next couple of bars will confirm the strength projected by the low volume test. We come to the end of this video and the next part, the part 13, we will be looking at the no supply bar. In order to get notified for release of the future parts or videos of this series, do subscribe to this channel. And in case you find this video useful, please do press like the press the like button. Thank you.